Hey there, friends! I have found a mod pack that completely changes Stardew Valley. Now, I'm not smart enough to install it, but lucky for me, my friend is. I've just also realized that my eyes are going a bit red from allergies. Just the thought of virtual farming sets me off. This mod adds 27 new NPCs, 50 locations, 260 character events, 27 fish, reimagined vanilla areas, two farm maps, a reimagined world map reflecting all changes, new music, quest lines, objectives, crops, festivals, and many more. I think I've made a duck by accident. I don't understand what I've done. <laughs> well, anyway, his name is Best Farmer. It's Enhanced Farm, and his favorite thing is vibration, which is a very normal thing to be your favorite thing. I'm gonna go on one of the new farms, Grandpa's Farm. Turns out in the normal mode, you're you're lost. You end up on some random farm. That wasn't Grandpa's Farm at all. Oh, uh, yeah, this this is the only mod I installed. Sorry. When, when he showed me how to do it, this is what I wanted. I wanted Grandpa to look like that, just dead on the floor instead of in his comfy deathbed in the vanilla version. I felt this was more real, you know, I'm very immersed. Oh, Grandpa's been there a while. There's a few flies. This music is killing me. <laughs> the peaceful music. And he's there rotting with his tongue sticking out. This is how I'll always remember you. And the flies. The flies I'll remember mostly, I think. Hello, you must be best farmer. God damn it, I was gonna try and duck her. I don't know if that's the footsteps or my guy quacking. This is Enhanced Farm! Okay, so we're out in the big bad world. Already I'm like, what? <laughs> this goes up now? And that goes to the bus stop, then what's this way? Also Grandpa's farm? He had two entrances? This old dude had a lot of sway around here. Turns out Grandpa was a pretty fly guy. <laughs> There's a lot of wildlife in these trees. They keep shaking. I'm gonna cut them down and ruin me some habitats. That's right, this duck has evolved. You can't escape me. Okay, let's see where this goes then. We're gonna just explore the whole map today. Okay, so this leads you to the same place as before. Hey man, I'm new here. I'm just gonna take your only crop. Thank you very much. Okay, so apparently Susan lives up there. That's, that's great. Susan is just trapped behind this avalanche. It's my first day here and even I'm like, should somebody help Susan maybe? <laughs> like, is no one doing it? Okay, is this different? I can't tell if things are different or if I'm just stupid. Okay, this looks pretty different. I don't know who these people are. Okay, so we got Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Best farmer, is it? Well, I don't mean to brag, but my only competition is surrounded by flies. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> Wait, is, do we get a birthday for Morris? In all honesty, I'm pretty evil in games, but I have never once thought, you know, it would be fun to give a gift to Morris. Like, even I have my limits. Oh, no, wait, it's not just the dead guy with flies around him. What was his name again? Ah, it doesn't matter. The other people have farms. Oh, and there's another farm down here. Do you think I can steal their produce? Oh, I can't. There's some weird garden here that I can't enter. Where the hell does this go? <laughs> oh, I can't go there yet. Must be a law against duck humans going there, but uh, there'll be change. Oh, Morris is like an office now. Hey, let me in. I know your birthday's tomorrow. I want to know what you like. Hey, dude. I just moved in, and yes, I'm some sort of duck human. I found these things that I wanted to sell you. You know what I just realized as well? Cauliflower's 80, but in the Joja Mart, it's now 70. Which makes a lot of sense, because I felt like in the original game, you've no incentive to shop there. Like, they're an evil corporation, and they cost more. It's like if Amazon went, yeah, we're 10 times the price, but we're a big corporation and you owe us. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll side with the big corporation. Give me those cauliflowers. <laughs> the villagers gave me a gift of parsnips and I'm just throwing them away. I don't want them. I want crops from the great Joja Mart. And 3 p.m. bedtime because that's when ducks sleep. And yeah, I know you're probably like, do they? Does he know that? And I'm just gonna trust you're not gonna Google it. If a strange duck man on the internet said it's true, then it must be true. Okay, I got a note from Willy to go down and meet him at the beach, so I may as well go explore that part of town. So this is the normal beach entrance, but now there's like two paths. I'm just gonna guess rather than reading the sign. Hey Willy, it's me, Duck Boy. You called for me? Ahoy there, son. At least he's not taken aback. Because I feel like my character looks like someone that parents would use as a 
as some sort of scare tactic. Like, don't use that duck face filter or pose because you know what'll happen. We'll turn We're gonna into, turn into duck, duck boy. boy. That's right, you're gonna turn into duck boy. Okay, I've done enough fishing on Statue recently, so my headcanon is that he then proceeded to eat the fishing rod he gave me. And he swallowed it like a duck too, no chewing or anything. Oh, the magic conch. Now I finally have someone to give me advice. Oh, magic conch, how do I find the new area? Ah, so this one did lead to the beach. I wasn't sure if the cutscene just triggered anyway. Oh, oh, a whole farm. This place has it going on. Oh, I look pathetic compared to this. I've got nine seeds in the ground. And what a beautiful house. Hello, will you adopt a simple duck boy? No, I didn't mean to give you the magic conch. No, who's going to be my financial advisor? Eek a stranger. Oh, it's because of my duck bill, isn't it? Can't even Robert gave her my feckin' magic conch and then she says eek to me. Eek as if I'm some sort of eek freak after only a peek. Fairhaven Farm. Hello. Can I salt the earth if you don't mind? Because I want my crops to be more valuable. Would you look at that? It's the new farmer everyone's been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. Yeah, and my name's Best Farmer, so by default, head over your farm, I better than you. <gasps> he said the thing! It ain't much, but it's honest work. This case a bit of a memer, I think. He loves his technology. You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. And look at his face! Why are you so pissed off? Probably because we just let him like, die there on the floor and, like, we didn't even pick him up or anything. <laughs> he probably knew my grandpa really well. <laughs> oh, you can see what this guy likes doing. He likes going this far into the kitchen, then turning back and going to bed instead. Just too lazy to cook. What a relatable character. Why are there Joja boxes everywhere? I thought this guy would be supporting local. What a bastard, honestly. And I know what you're saying, I'm indirectly calling myself a bastard, but I know what I said. <gasps> it tells me when everything is open! Oh my god, that makes the mod worth it alone. The amount of times I've shown up in Marnie's or Pierre's and they're just not open. Looks like there's also a path down to the beach there. We don't know where that sheer water bridge goes just yet. Interestingly enough, Grandpa's shed is up here. I haven't even seen that. But other than the blocked off areas, I think we've explored the whole new expanded map and now we just have to see what there is to uncover. Oh my god, the wizard has a giant cauliflower and that's not like a euphemism or anything. Like, he just has a giant cauliflower. It's locked. You can hear someone side. Let me know your secrets. Even Marnie is a farm. I have so much competition and I'm not allowed to sabotage it. Where is it? Where is Grandpa's shed? I want to ruin Grandpa's shed. If he's dead inside there, I'm going to be so pissed off. How the hell do I get over there? Wait, it's across the river. Okay, there's some sort of bridge there. I don't see how you're supposed to get across to it. It looks like it's here, but I can't see anything. Oh wait, I spy a bridge. Oh, for God's sake, it's behind a fence. I'm a dock, just swim. I can't get to it. I'm pissed off. <laughs> He's spending all his time just pissed off. So it looks like you get across there. The greenhouse is in here. And then you go straight up to get to the shed. But we're going to have to upgrade our axe to find that shed and see if he's still in there. I think that I'm so depressed I'll sleep for seven days now. Ah, that's much better. No, actually, it's not. I'm going to sleep for another week. No, I should probably check if there are some events now. Because I, I wanted to sleep through a few days just to open up the whole area. And we could really try to get in to the, the deeper side of this mod. Oh, Susan sent me mail. Hello, best farmer. My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're a new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. How did she even get this to me? Why? She is so nice that she sent a letter even though she's trapped in there. Or maybe this is her way of getting a message out that Lewis would actually deliver that's not like, oh my god, I'm going to die. Like, it's just a subtle, please help me, like I'm trapped over here. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do, so I'll just go back to bed for a day. There's no event yet. There should be one coming soon. Okay, great. The egg festival is tomorrow, so you know what that means. I'm sleeping, and then we're gonna go in and meet some of the new people. Okay, I got this harpoon weapon that Willie got me. I'm ready to confront the town. Oh, hello. Who are you? I'm Duck Boy. <laughs> I don't want to work today. Well, Martin, you're a capitalist slave. Get going. Ah, <laughs> oh, pathetic. Look at him. Why can't he be brave like me and just get a free farm from his dead grandpa? Eat that dandelion. 
dandelion while you wait. Ducks love dandelions. Okay, yes, it's starting. I don't know why they let Martin in and they don't let me in. There's some discrimination going on against the duck people. So far, this is just a village full of bigots as far as I'm concerned. It'd taste even better if Pierre and Lewis used my crops. And he's always pissed off. He's great. Oh my god, he's got like a cool brown suit on now. Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one will find it. Uh... Okay. Oh no, and he followed it up with, well, until summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. <laughs> Harvey, <laughs> Harvey, <laughs> even the birds are fleeing me. All right, good. I don't know if this counts as greeting them, but I'm trying it anyway. I hate it here. But if you don't hate it here, like if you're having a good time, could you like the video? That would help me out so much. Okay, what does Pierre got? He's got strawberry seed, but I don't really have enough money to actually buy any. <laughs> so that's sad. I'm not sure who's going to buy them at that price, to be honest. Everyone in town has their own farm, apparently. Do you think everyone's ready? I don't care. Duck boy's ready. Let's go. Oh god, we started. I didn't even realize. Feck. All right, I gotta get all these eggs. The sad part is they're my eggs. I laid them this morning and they were stolen. I just want them back. Feck off. I saw it first. Get out of the way. <laughs> it's mine. Get out of the way. <laughs> I better have won. This meant everything to me. Ah, oh, feck off. The two of them are winning. This is ridiculous. They hate duck people. They wouldn't even let me in. I bet they were plotting against me this whole time. Isn't the prize a hat? How are they even gonna share it? This sucks. He just stayed up till 10 p.m. sad. <laughs> Alright, let's get to sleep. Okay, I think it's time we put this humid animal hybrid back where it belongs, into the mines. So I'm gonna go explore. I hate that their farms are better than mine. <laughs> Wait, where's the entrance to the mine? <laughs> Is it here? Do I have to follow up here? I'm lost and I'm in the rain. Maybe I should check the map. Is that the entrance to the mine? Where the hell am I? The fog is getting so dense. I feel like I'm in Silent Hill. Except, you know, I'm a human-animal hybrid. Hello, Marilyn. Will you please arm me? I want revenge against the humans. Well... He did it. <laughs> the biggest mistake of his life. <laughs> oh, I went down the ladder by accident. That's right. Am I a man? Am I a duck? Am I a miner? Nobody knows. He's just celebrating that he found the geodes. The slimes don't mind. They think I'm one of them. I think with a little bit of money from the mines and then money from selling the cauliflowers, I should have enough to buy a backpack and then I'll be pretty happy. I need to check if there are any quests appears to. Hopefully we can get some new ones. Okay, I got some copper and some goodies. I can... Oh my god, the fog still hasn't lifted. Imagine running into this thing in the fog. <laughs> it'd be terrifying enough without the fog. In fact, maybe with the fog it would be better so you don't see the whole picture. The hell is this? You shouldn't use Marilyn's boat without permission. Yeah, but can I still? Like, I don't care about his permission. Minerals and gems are packed in the barrel. Why can't I do more crime? I want to steal these. All right, Marilyn, here's the deal. You got a boat and I want it. What do I have to do? You ain't talking. All right, what about here? No info. You, old man, tell me or I'll kill you. <laughs> He didn't even wake up. And this is the bridge over to the little mining area. I think I kind of want to unlock that. I don't think I want to do a whole lot of mining in this. I just know they used to send canaries down in the mines and it's a bit too close for home. Oh, the cauliflowers are ready. I'm a terrible farmer. I was trying to water them. Wait, I think Jody always asks for a cauliflower, right? I'm going to put one away <laughs> just for Jody. The bad thing is I've played this so much recently and this is the only time I've remembered. It's a condescending letter from Granny just being like, oh, your crops are going to die in next season. My name is Best Farmer, Granny. Oh, the museum has little glass cases. That actually makes it look so much better. It's such a small little touch. Anyway, I'm gonna duck off and go to Clint's. No, Clint, give me good stuff. I want good stuff. Yeah, sparkle good. Even though I don't know what that thing is. It's probably good too. Gunther's gonna be like, oh no, it's back. <laughs> I didn't say a word. I just walked in, gave him two things and left. Dwarvish helm? I'm pretty sure that's a bedpan or something. Hey dude, found this under my bed. I thought you might want to display it to everyone. Okay, I've decided I want other animals on the farm, and yes, I know what I just said. And I think I want to be, like, more of an artisan farm rather than a big industry, like, loads of crops, because that's kind of what I always did when I played Stardew, and this seems to open the door to a lot more things, so may as well experience something different. But for now, I've collected everything I can in the village. I can sell my cauliflowers, and hopefully tomorrow I can get a backpack. <laughs> yes? Come on. Yes! Alright, awesome. I should be able to afford it with that. That's a big hurdle gone. It took over 
for two weeks on the farm and I can afford a small backpack. That's how you know things are really going your way. I think we gotta clean up this whole area and then get a coop in, get some animals. Maybe I could live in the coop too. I'd be more at home there. Oh no, a cutscene. They're all gonna point and laugh at me. Oh no, it's just about Morris. Oh, well, if I'm not the main character in the cutscene, I don't want to see it. I was on board even if they were gonna make fun of me as long as I was the center of attention. How much is that stupid red bag? <laughs> Two grand. I can manage with this bag. I don't want your stupid blue bag. Like that one costs two grand. What the hell is it made out of? Human skin? If so, I already have one of those at home. Good day, sir. Okay, let's take a look. Will we go up and see Susan since she was trapped in an avalanche and no one has mentioned her since? I bet when I get up there, I'll just see this. <laughs> Okay, that's why they're not talking about her. They still just refuse to address the elephant in the room. She's still behind the cliff. Okay, let's go clean up the farm a little bit then so we can actually get some organization going and actually start being a farmer. Hello, best farmer. Thank you, Marnie. I didn't want to point it out, but your farm is pretty crap. Well, I shat myself. You be a good pooch now, okay? A little bit TMI, Marnie, but whatever. You go now. I just realized I'm going to need a bit more copper if I'm going to get through to that other area and I really want to. I at least want to see what the shed is. Oh, and all I have is five copper. Yeah, I'll definitely have to go back to the mine someday, but let's clean up the farm for now. Because you know what they say about farming. When you start farming, you got to clean the farm so that the farm will will be in the family and you'll have you'll have the farm clean okay that ought to do it for now and i have that saying up on my wall irl by the way uh, i'm sure you can find prints in your local stores if you want one it's a uh, really big <laughs> just so you're aware ah uh, there's the quest i was looking for jody needs a cauliflower all right first i'm gonna give it the old secret ingredient that's right putting it in my pocket of the pants i've been wearing for three weeks straight and i'm gonna sleep on top of it just going through their trash I'm here early enough to get away with it. What do you got in here, Jody? If I find a cauliflower, I'm gonna be angry. I know she's looking for an excuse to get me over here. <laughs> she's totally into best farmer. And let's be honest, who isn't? Like, no matter what you're into, he fits the bill. <laughs> she's gonna get the biggest jump scare of her life when she eventually comes downstairs. I wish she'd just leave her doors unlocked. Like, come on. Who other than me would try and break in? And it seems mean to discriminate against just me. This keeps happening. Here you go. And here's some trash I found <laughs> inside your bin. <laughs> oh, look at her farm. It's so much better than mine. I want so many animals. Oh, I can't even steal her crops. How much even is it for the animals? She won't tell me until I actually get the building. I have to play who's that Pokemon with her stock. As you can see, we got the classic Pidgey and then two Pidgeys. <laughs> oh my God, I need the mining carts. You have to walk so far to get to the mine now. Hey, can I use your boat? Please, no, don't just say hello. I want to use his boat. I want to know what it's for. And by the way, if he's some sort of mercenary. Shouldn't he go save Susan? Like, no one's helping Susan here. Come on, please give me two. This is all I need, and I'm out of energy. Yes! Okay. I don't want to come down here again. Honestly, it's not even because of the mine. It just takes so long to get here now. It's not worth it. I wonder, the map, the map. I wonder, can you take his boat? So, the boat would be like here, and then you could go around to different stops. That would make sense. Like, you could go all the way around to nearly over by the, the main town here. If if not, I guess the minecart is the only way, and that'll take me a little bit of time. Wait, did I really get no coal through that whole thing? Oh, for God's sake. I guess I could probably find some just on the farm, right? In rocks? Okay, I got one. I'm surprised that actually worked. I thought it was going to be one of those things where we jump cut to me going, yeah, that didn't work. But yeah, it, it that worked. I even got enough to make a scarecrow. All I need is some grass. There we go. I made a friend in the most literal sense. Ah, we're having the flower dance. I see we're continuing to to deny that Susan is in trouble. <laughs> Great news. I'll see you all there. I assume you'll all want to dance with me. Best farmer. I wonder, can you earn more money from foraging in this? I might actually go foraging before the dance. I'm going to smell like dirt when I arrive, but what's new? I have never changed my clothes. I can't even go down there, but I know people are down there. I saw them on the map. Look at them all enjoying themselves. I think they're really just looking up for excuses for me to not come in there. The bright side, I have enough to upgrade my 
axe, wasn't it my axe? I hope it's just my axe and I don't need to do my pickaxe too. Okay, yeah, it just looks like an axe is needed. That's that's fine. And I, I can't break it for sure, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure I'm trying to prevent me being stupid and it's a full-time job. Okay, I'm here, everyone. Now you can try and impress me so that I'll dance with you. What do you mean? Oh, uh. okay. Do you want to be my dance partner? No, <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to dance with me? Maybe next year. That's a long way away. Hey, you want to dance? Uh, you want to dance? You want to dance with me? You're my first choice. Hey, Willie, you want to dance? They're saying they don't dance. All right, fine. I'll dance alone. It's, it is what it is. Lewis, start the dance. I'm pissed off. Oh, wait. Marilyn, do you want to dance? Marini looks lovely today. You know what? You're right. Marini, do you want to dance? I do not remember there being a store here in this one. Oh, maybe because it's useless. <laughs> I like how I have authority. I just go up to him like, now. Start it now. Where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm here alone. No one's even standing with me. That was fun. All right. Well, someone's in denial, but that's good for me, I guess. He won't be complaining. Dear farmer, best farmer. <laughs> I think someone was having a stroke while they wrote this. Okay, foraging. Where's all the good stuff? Give me the good stuff. <laughs> Destroying the wildlife while I'm at it. There he is, that bastard thinking he's better than me. <laughs> I'll show him. I'm not weird for hiding out in the shrubs outside his house. I'm best farmer. Oh, there's that axe. I, I forgot that I even accepted that quest. I just accept everything, but I don't tend to deliver. What's this? Oh, spring onion. Well, I'm no spring onion, but running around this forest is really paying off. Are these crops? <laughs> Does this this go along to the beach then down here? I got some good stuff foraging and there's all the stuff on the beach after a few days, so that's pretty handy. I should make a decent amount of cash. I forgot I had a mission to just harvest a single parsnip, so I have to buy one since I sold all mine. I didn't bring the bars. God damn it, I had to walk so far for this. Ah, uh, well, I can't afford it anyway. It's a little bit of solace, although it does screw me over because now I need a lot more money than I planned. Here, can you open these and see if any of them are holding 2,000 gold? I feel like I'm getting much less rewards. I've gotten one reward from the community center after giving them like nine things. It's the only thing I'm excelling at and they've removed the rewards for it. What, you think I'm doing these things for fun? No, it's for profit. Okay, there we go. That'll get me the quest. As always, doing the bare minimum required. You know what? Not bad for just a nice stroll. If I made 500 gold every time I went for a walk, I would be a very happy man and I would walk more. <laughs> Big payday coming up with my nine cauliflower. Nice, I can make a mayonnaise machine and I want that to go with the eggs from my coop. And big payday as well. Excellent news. Ah, yes. Best farmer. That's me. Hold on, let me just water all my crops. All right. I'm done. You know, as I'm running to Clint, contemplating the amount of money I'm about to spend on upgrading my axe, I'm kind of realizing I have Robin's axe, and surely I could just use that thing. Like, surely her one is decent, even though it looks kind of awful. It looks like she just tied a rock to a stick. Oh my god, I'm so used to just walking straight down to the beach. I just walked into the fork in a road. Okay, let's get that axe upgraded. Hopefully that'll help me get wood a lot faster as well, so that I can upgrade and uh, build new farm housing things, you know, like, uh, Barn, yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at remembering anything about farming for a farmer. I just realized I never went up this way, did I? I hope there's not just a rock blocking this side. Oh no, it's just a weird shrine to a rabbit. Yeah, Grandpa was a weird dude. That's why we didn't really care about him when he died. Okay, so there is your axe. Fantastic. That's a little bit of cash for me. Oh my god, a simple coop is four grand? This woman is ridiculous. And I need six grand for the barn, so I need ten grand, essentially. Oh, I still have the multiplayer mod that allows me build like uh, multiplayer buildings really cheap. I'll build one of them just so my farm doesn't look so empty because it looks a little bit sad. I have no use for this. This is a waste of money. But there we go. I'll feel better about myself now. <laughs> oh, I was about to buy some seeds and then I realized that it's the last day of the season. I would have been so angry at myself. All right, tomorrow I'm going to plant some nice plants and actually earn some money so that I can buy <laughs> that stupid ripoff merchant's barn and coop. Okay, 1 p.m. It's bedtime for me. It's a whole new season. How long was I asleep? Cookies from mom. They're going right in the bin. Like the sales bin. I want the money from them. I feel like because I play the start of this game so often with these mods, I just end up hating the, the NPCs at the start just because they charge so much. But it's time to go support my favorite local business and get some seeds. That's right, Joja Mart. Oh, I love these corporate aisles and this cool medical feeling 
the building gives off. Everything about it just screams mom and pop shop. Okay, I'm gonna grab some corn since that'll last me right into fall. I can't even afford all the corn I want. This is so sad. <laughs> this cashier is like, okay, I'm sorry to hear that, but could you leave? Oh, Penny wants a puffer fish and I get 600. I don't even know how to get puffer fish and I'll probably give up because that sounds difficult, but what an opportunity. I'm definitely saying yes to it. Okay, I don't mean to be corny, but I love corn. Let's get it down in the ground. It is a little bit sad that I couldn't have fit in the rest. I mean, I guess they have these mixed seeds. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw in some mixed seeds so I feel a little less sad. And for once, I'm full of shit in a good way because I have thrown down loads of fertilizer. I'm only now realizing that saying someone is full of shit might be an Irish thing, so it, it might have just come across as disgusting. But anyway, moving on. <gasps> My copper axe is ready. Awesome. We're finally going to figure out what's over there. <gasps> the landslide is cleared as well. All right, we can go visit Susan. <laughs> it's about time she's been rescued. It's been a whole month of her trapped in the mountains. All right, I got my axe. I didn't speak a word to Clint because I'm still pretty pissed off about his prices. I'm just now realizing that I'm wasting energy. I was seeing how fast I could swing the axe. Probably freaking out Pierre from inside, standing outside his door, practicing my axe swinging. Look at everyone. They're walking away from Susan. Now that she's loose, everyone's leaving. Robin's leaving. Linus is leaving. What the hell? <laughs> it's still not here. I can't get through. Susan, can you hear me, Susan? Okay, we're gonna find out once and for all what's over here. As soon as I get through all of this, there's so much in the way. Wait, how do I, how do I get up there? Is there not even a path? What the hell? How do I get over there? So this was just to get to the greenhouse and I didn't even finish the greenhouse. I need to even check out the community center. I've not gone there. I don't know what it is yet. I don't know if there's changes. Lewis was asking Duck Boy for help, but he was like, nah, I just didn't go inside. Oh my God, I just realized there's a meteorite blocking it. I couldn't even get over there if I wanted to. This would be a great spot for a small bridge. Okay, so I guess I have to build a bridge. That's interesting. Oh, wait, that earthquake might have freed Susan. This Susan lady is like the main character all of a sudden. She's all I talk about. There was an explosion during the night. All right, hopefully she freed herself. Susan, it's so good to see you. I was honestly beginning to suspect you didn't exist, especially since you got sus in your name. I've been trapped up there alone ever since Georgia caused the rock slide and no one went up to help you. Stop by and visit Emerald Farm when you have the time. I will do just that. I will be my own spring. I hope no one's watching this. Well, other than you. I'm actually more worried about the social anxiety if an NPC turns up and sees me doing it. Let's take a quick look in here. I don't think I can actually access it yet, but it would be good to just get it underway to see if it's any bit different. The size of the community center is the same, but I wonder if the packages are. Ooh, Emerald Farm is nice and you got your own bathhouse and everything. I'm gonna beeline for that. Doc Boy loves the water. Oh, there we go. He's finally in his natural habitat. That's the women's locker room. You can't go in there. But I'm a duck boy. I shouldn't be in either of them. How come everyone else's farm is on such a better spot? Like they have loads of visitors with the rail line and the bathhouse. They do get, you know, trapped within the valley every now and again. But you know, that that I could live with. I lived as a hermit in this game for God's sake. Wait, so what's up here then? This large boulder blocks your path. That goes back around there. I'm so confused. What the hell? Is that a sword? That is a sword. What the hell? All right. Well, I'm more inclined to go to the mine now. What the hell? I bet this is like a murder weapon. I'm being set up. It was left in the graveyard after all. Or else I just stole a family heirloom from a grave. All oh, their farms are so much cooler than mine. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. It's just my subconscious trying to cut their crops with my new sword. Oh my god. Moonshine. <laughs> She's a moonshiner. I'm thankful Joji cleared the rock slide. Lewis and I went through so much trouble getting them to remove the rocks. I'll tell you right now, Susan. Lewis wasn't doing a damn thing. He was down there having egg festivals. Oh, what is this? I guarantee there's nothing to be worried about, Mayor. But there is, Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks when the landslide was cleared. Everything is under control and will be fine, Mayor. <laughs> and what if the garbage Joja dumps into the river, Morris? The Lewis was saying earlier how he's the mayor for 20 years when I was talking to him. And he's been letting all of this slide. I was just on my way. All right, Lewis is just bailing after not solving anything. This was what... 
Susan was calling working hard. He comes over and says, hey, what about this? And then the other guy goes, yeah, we're doing this. And Lewis just goes, oh, okay, and walks away. All right, well, that was a weird cutscene. Sorry for bumping into you, Demetrius. I was in a cutscene. 20 copper ore and you get to keep the ore. Okay, I might actually do that since I have my sick new sword. Closed on Wednesdays. This is why I don't use you. The one time I wanted to go to his store because it was convenient and he's closed. All right, my first kill. Here it goes. Nothing. Oh my God, this sword is the best thing ever. You see, if I was mayor, I'd go up to Morris and give him one of these. And then they'd try and put me in prison and I'd give him one of these. And then there'd be a little bee and I'd run away because bees are scary. Ah. But even they cannot beat this sword. This sword is amazing. That one drop a dagger? Was that thing armed? It was. Jesus, thank God I took him down. I'm just flying my way through the mines, murdering everything that moves. I'm having a great time. Oh my God, another sword. He has enough weapons. Stop. Everyone at Christmas knows him so well. They just all give him swords. I found some rubber boots. All right. <laughs> They're not that great. They're actually worse than the boots I found at the entrance of the mine. Interesting. Imagine you're 23 levels deep in the mines. You arrive at level 23 and there's a duck boy in the corner just eating what he finds in the cave. He whispers, please save me. What do you do? I was getting very lucky with the ladders up until this level and now I've cleared this entire level and it's making up for gained time. I can't find any of them. Are you going to give me a sympathy ladder because the game just won't? No, you're not even going to do that. Oh, look at that. The second last rock. What are the odds? Down I go. Oh, thank God. Cave food. <laughs> I've been starting to get a little bit hungry down here. I'm actually a little bit concerned. I'm not going to make it out. I really want to get down to the next level though. Come on, give me ladders. Come on, the both of you. Hand them over. I know you got them. Oh, damn it. Ladder. Give me a ladder. <laughs> Where is the ladder? Okay, what happened? The last two levels. What changed? It's like the game decided, you know what? He's having too much fun. Feck that guy. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, get me out of here. What the hell are you doing? Uh, okay, that's interesting. Anyway, I'm about to collapse from exhaustion. I gotta get home. And unfortunately, the route is much longer than normal. Like, I don't even know if I can make it back within this time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> All right, phew. I mean, the guy does need his sleep. I go to sleep every day at like 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. Oh, and I'm being blessed. So I'm so glad I got to sleep. I hope the blessing is vast amounts of wealth, which I desperately need. Okay, you you bless the crop. All right, that's that's pretty neat too, I guess. Thank you very much. I hope you uh, enjoy improving everyone's life with your magic abilities. <laughs> like imagine having magic and that's what you do with it. I, oh, I could do anything in the world with my magic. Guess I'll bless this pepper. <laughs> Best farmer, my melons are growing like wildfire this year. Here's some extra seeds I got when I popped a number of them in my seed maker. Don't go trying to compete with me for the melon market though. I'll win. Susan. All right, Susan. I, I can see through your thinly veiled threat. Oh, I got so much corn to sell. I'm so excited I could... He really sleeps easy, doesn't he? Every night just hits the pillow and he's gone. Okay, since I have my new friend, this sword, I'm gonna jump into the mines, blast through the next few levels, get some iron, make some sprinklers, and then become rich in a matter of days so I can get whatever I want. Okay, I'm pretty sure if I actually watched the fortune teller today, she would have been like, don't bother even getting up. The spirits are pissed. <laughs> Fuck's sake, like, look at my energy. It's over half gone just from one level in the mines. Oh, okay, well, that, that's better. Thank you for this. <laughs> Note to self, always complain about everything. Oh, for God's sake, no ladder. <laughs> Oh wait, there's a free one there. It works! Okay, this is actually getting a bit ridiculous. Like, I have to clear out the entire floor every time. I'm basically just living on cave carrots so I can make my way down. Oh, thank God. I was really starting to worry I wasn't gonna make it. Now, I've gotten down to the levels that iron can appear at, but I don't really want to be there with this level of energy. Okay, I hope I can still make it to Clint. I need to hand over the ores to him, and I also need to crack open the enormous amount of geodes I'm holding in my pen. Again, that sounds like a euphemism for something, but it's not. I just have loads of geodes. Hey, Susan, don't make any bad impressions now or they'll lock you in the mountain again. This makes me depressed. What? You feckin' asked for it. It's not my problem. Are you serious? Did I lose the quest already? Oh, for God's sake. So I just gave him one for free. What the hell? He's a cowboy now. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this mod. He's given me a new reward because I love his cowboy cosplay. <laughs> He's given me two, actually. You know what? Maybe I should be nicer to these people. Melons and Stanley Geode. Pretty 
pretty ugly gifts. You've proven yourself. What did I do? <laughs> do you want to join the Adventurers Guild? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Do you swear under oath? Yes, I'm not reading the rest. I just agreed to your terms and conditions, basically. So how am I doing on this? I've killed 42 out of 125 cave insects. That's probably like a sarcastic bounty they have up there and my guy's taking it seriously. Okay, let's get rid of some of my crappy weapons. I was carrying them with me in the hopes he would buy them. Yes, I can make my first sprinkler. Oh, wait, I forgot. <laughs> Oh no, everyone, I forgot. <laughs> this only does four, not eight. Oh, well, rats. I want a lucky day to go to the mine one more time, but anytime I look at it, it's just like they're very displeased. Wait, do they always have a little image there? Is that in the mod? I think that's the mod. Anyway, they're displeased, so I'm going to bed. Imagine you woke up and the TV was like, no, this day's gonna be awful. <laughs> Imagine how awful that would feel. Somewhat annoyed today. Jesus, I hate the spirits. Ah, they're having the luau. I might actually show up to this little event. What can I put in there? Ah, well, it looks like everyone's having fun, so I can just sneak up and put in my ingredients. I want to put in sap. Wait, th that's it? Oh, I still wanted to add a pine cone, some copper, and bug meat. All right, well, best of luck, Marnie. She's still stirring it. In all fairness, one little drop of sap can't be horrible for it. Jesus, that guy's glaring at those kids from behind the pole. He hasn't blinked in five minutes. My mother and I just threw in some of our most expensive wine. It should make the soup taste delicious. Delicious. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Like, surely my one sap can't overpower that expensive wine, can it? Oh, maybe it can. Look at his face. That is disappointment in a JPEG if I've ever seen it. Yeah, he's getting sick. <laughs> That's gotta be the wine. Come on, my sap is amazing. Oh, Jesus. Before it was disappointment in a JPEG. Now it's death in a JPEG. I need to lie down. All right, I have a feeling that the governor is gonna look like grandpa pretty soon. Yeah, that was the sound of him dying. <laughs> Good going, people. Whoever put that foul ingredient in the soup made that governor pass out. I'm ashamed. Yeah, Vincent, your wine sucks. Go home. The festival is over. <laughs> and Susan will be banished to the mountains once again. Honestly, he seemed far more bothered about the Luol being ruined and the governor fainting than he did about Susan being trapped in the mountains. Hey, wizard. Oh, you've got such a nicer tower right now. I hope you don't drug me in this mod. You look much cooler as well. You look like a dark wizard. It really suits you. You also look really pissed off. That really suits you. Okay, I think he flashbanged me. I'm gonna skip before he actually drugs me. We'll pretend it never happened. Or better yet, I'll just forget that it happened, which seems accurate. Can I go up his tower? Oh my god! Is this always in the game or is this just added in with the mod? Because I've never seen this. This must be the mod. This is ridiculous. He has two seance circles? I only have one! What are you doing? Um, vibrating, I guess. It is my favorite thing after all. What are you doing? Because honestly, vibrating is your favorite thing is weird. Watching someone vibrate is even weirder. Perhaps one day I'll teach you some light magic. Oh my god, I can be this guy's apprentice. He also talked about like new plants, like magical plants and stuff like that. And ancient seeds, ancient fruit seeds. So I, I wonder where that goes. He said due to my connection with the juveniles, I've not even gone and visited them yet. But I got permission to enter his basement and that's all I wanted. I only ask you stay away from the Shrine of Illusions and the Warp Hall. Where's the Shrine of Illusions and the Warp Hall? I want to check them out. Is this the Warp Hall? Not in use. God damn it, he turned them off. Oh, and the symbols are scratched off this one, but I think I can figure it out. It's clearly too... Herner... Rotary. E... E... You... Do him. Yeah, that must be it. That's where it goes. Oh, it's not working though. And I really wanted to go there. I wonder if he's any like camera setup. And he just sees me checking out the exact thing he said not to look at. Okay, I have no idea how to use them. I guess he needs to teach you a bit of magic before you can use them or I gain his trust. He would be my best friend in this. I'd only give him gifts. I was told not to come near this. Yeah, but here I am. <laughs> I want to put some sap in it and see if I get any reward. Yeah, he's definitely using magic to, to grow these things. These are ridiculous. Well, that's that's how I'm coping with it anyway, because my name is Best Farmer and my crops look awful compared to his. Five rare seeds. What are those? They're a thousand? Well, actually, that's not too bad when one egg costs 900. <laughs> Oh no, I hear the flies again. I think they're coming for me. I gotta run. <laughs> I don't want the same fate as grandpa. Okay, the flies didn't follow me into town because they're socially anxious. Feeling gloomy. 
A melon might cheer me up. <laughs> Sebastian is a simple man. I like that. Like, oh man, depression hit hard today. The spirits are annoyed, so I'm just really down about the day. If only I had a melon, <laughs> that would make me happy. Summer foraging bundle. Are these the same? Hey, can I just put in grass? Oh no, they're too smart. Damn. <laughs> so these look the same. I think the community center might be the same in general. They might have left that and added in different things elsewhere. Like even the wizard tower, I was pretty amazed by. I'm really curious where that goes. Spirits are in good humor, finally! Well, spirits, it turns out your mood means feck all in the real world because I'm not finding any ladders. Okay, that's more like it. Now I'm on a roll. And I found some cave carrots, which really fuels me. That's pretty much my diet. My whole food pyramid is just one massive cave carrot. Maybe a few wild flowers that I found at the ground at the top. I'm already down like 10 levels. I just don't want to do these levels. I hate these levels. I always try and speed run past them to get to the next ones where I can actually get iron, and I can actually see. Stardew might be enhanced, but my vision sure isn't. You received a slingshot. Great, we're giving this guy more weapons. Where is the iron? That's all I want. <laughs> Hand over the iron. Oh, finally, iron. Okay, let's get our iron up by eating our only meal. I hope there's iron in cave carrots. I'm just hoping everything's in cave carrots, because as I said, it's all I'm living off. So I hope that just that cave carrot is a balanced diet in itself. Oh, I love this sword. It's making my life so much easier. Okay, I I think I have enough iron now to make enough sprinklers that, well, I don't have to be a sprinkler. <laughs> That's the dream. As much as I love going it's just not for me long term. It's more of a hobby, and once it became a job, I stopped enjoying it. Is Susan here? I figured I'd check in on her. All right, you know what? Maybe everyone, including God, hates Susan. As soon as I went near her house, I nearly got struck by lightning. Maybe the villagers are on to something. Just ignore Susan. The hell was that? <laughs> Probably a tree trying to fall on me because I thought of helping Susan. I'm just watering dirt now, but I have it prepared for the next little planting cycle, and I have enough money for my coop. I think there's so much more to explore with this mod and a lot of it will be late game but I already feel like there's loads that we saw but I can tell by the way he's looking at us he wants us to dock off so we will end it there but thank you so much for watching I appreciate you uh, check out some more of my content here if you want to appreciate more of me I guess and I hope to see you next time bye for now